Right. Hey, are people. Hi, yeah, I'm Paul Beasley. I'm Anthony's cameraman today. Concrete. I'll tell you what, Amp, you're amazing at building machines, mate. Right, so you can see, actually lifting concrete, this is full of concrete, you ain't lifting that by hand. Um, there we are. This is first of. This is the first video. Yeah, this is the first video. Right. So you can all see exactly what it can do. Um, the arm's not fully extended, but if I do that, it will be fully extended from there to there. Coming back is fine as well. And that bottle's really heavy. I don't know what, I can't say what it weighs. I can't say what it weighs, you know? Um, coming down, that's the butt down button, and you've got this here, control valve here, so it controls the fluid coming out. You really want to go in slow coming down, because if you come down fast, it, I don't know what it could do, but it won't be very pleasant for the machine. Um, right, hold on, let's lower that. Lower that to the ground, I'm going to release it now by pressing this one. And also I've got, uh, so you don't have to use that, but you can use this hook, but I need to put a chain on that. So this fucking hook is shit anyway. Ah, fucking hell, that's heavy that. Anyway, right, so we're going to put that hook on there. Corey. Alright. We'll put that up there. So if you wanted to stand the bottle up, you could. Oh, hang on. Yeah, no, that's right. That's fine. There we are. You've got ropes on there as well. Look at that. So you can actually have that like that, if you want. You can use the hook or the pinchers. Now... Hang on, right. If you wanted to lift it right up, you could lift it right up. I don't really trust that fucking thing though. Right. Um, to extend it, you uh, you take it into there. And then there, mate, it's off the ground. It's got a big fuck off anchor chain on it. That's actually bending a little bit, obviously, because it's all out on that bit there. But this is what it is, guys. This is what you're buying. Yeah, it is what it is. This is, this is what you're buying. You know, I can't do any better videos than that. And it sounds a little bit sluggish because I haven't turned this out, fully out. If I turn that out, it comes down a lot faster. You just go by the control. It goes up quick, but it is what it is, yeah? If you're not happy with it, don't buy it. Right, now we've got this here, look. Right, let's, let's have a look at this. Oh, what's that button for, Ant? Oh, well, I'll show you right now. There you are. Let's get a bit more Pacific out here, shall we? You want to see a video? This is the video. Yeah? It is what it is, this is what you're buying. It's a tipper trailer, I built it by scratch and I built it all by hand and I trust it, because I built it. Yeah, it's not from a factory, I ain't got no lathes, I ain't got no machinery to cut all the metal, I've done it all with an angle grinder. And if you want to have a look at the weld, the weld is alright, the weld's all good, it's all bolted there, the crane's bolted down so you can take the crane off if you have to. You can also take the sides off so you can turn it into also a flat bed like a truck top and bottom um the pillars are fully welded so you can't take them out so the flatbed is a flatbed you just have to work around the pillars and that is the way it is so if you like it you like it if not don't buy it and i will say there's no ram to turn it you've got to turn it manually all by hand 
it's all it all turns by hand yes yeah? so look it all turns by hand by a fucking hinge which is over here excuse my language but i like to swear now and again but anyway there we are there's the hinges and it can't jump off because i welded a top piece in there so there's no way it can jump off we've got a safety pin that goes through there well obviously when it's straight back into the trailer now we wanted to talk, show you with the bottle which i'll do that actually now let me just sort my camera out i'll show you right now that i can lift that that bottle and move that bottle into the trailer by using a piece of rope oh where's that then man boy and paul bees needs a punch right um yeah hang on <laughs> <laughs> Pull these in the product, but anyway, right. Anyway, pull these in, are you ready for this? This is what I'm going to grab your sleeve. <laughs> this is how I grab your head, son. Right. Watch your pull. <laughs> anyway, right, we need to get up here. Pull these in, getting on my nerves, man. I need, I need to drink to pull him around into the pain, <laughs> Right, the reason why it's like that, the reason, reason why, um, it was heavy because I'm on a slope. I advise you to do it on the straight when you're lifting heavy shit like that. But there it is, it's in there. Very heavy. Um, got a checker at the back. I'm not going to show you my registration number, but it's on YouTube anyway. But there we are. Um, this is what you're buying. You've got a jockey wheel. You've even got a breakaway cable down here. The electric supplies, it runs into my car. So you might have to rig that up. And there's the pump. It's just a uh, electric pump. It's no um, petrol or anything like that. You can get the petrol one if you want, but it is what it is. This is, how, this is what you're getting. You've got the plug-in for your trailer lights here, which plugs down there as well. Anyway, if you like it, buy it. If not, don't worry. Bye for now. That's the end of this video.